First things first, let's dig into the mountain. So here's our digging order. Right now, all I want to do is just dig. So what I'm going to do is click from here. This is like the first tile we can dig. I'm going to dig, say, this far end seems good for now. Just three by three or three by six. Doesn't matter specifically. We just, just want to get a tunnel started there. That's only going to keep our miner busy, though. We want to keep all our doors busy. Doors actually get mad if they're not busy. <laughs> so we're also going to put down tree cutting orders. This is a selection. So see this box here that I just spread out the selection box? This is not here if you turn on the keyboard cursor, which, uh, like I said in the first video, you might want to turn on the keyboard cursor if you're an old player because that's how the game used to work. But this goes away. And this is actually really handy. So I'm going to keep us on mouse mode. It might not be the fastest way to play, but it's the intended way to play the Steam version, it seems. Okay, this is our gathering order. So this is going to keep our farmer busy because we turned on their function as a gatherer. Although there is a caveat to that, and we will get to that in just a moment here. So we'll set those orders down too. That just makes them so they gather all this food. There's food everywhere. Like Dwarf Fortress... It's absolutely full of food. There's tomato plants growing everywhere. There's roots growing. There's jute, whatever that is, strawberries, all sorts of things that can be eaten on the map. It's actually difficult to starve. It's pretty easy to run out of water and alcohol, <laughs> but starving actually is pretty hard to do a door fortress. Now, we're also going to place a zone. This is our zone button down here. Every time you open up a new window, a, a uh, help window will come up, which is very nice, but I'm going to explain things myself. Like I said, there is a tutorial in the game. All right, we are going to create a pin and pasture zone. So we're just going to click on the pin and pasture icon. And we're going to create this just like here. Just click to one corner and click to the other corner and then press accept. So now we have a pin and pasture. We can name it. We don't need to name it though. What we're going to put here is any animal that needs to be outside. So it doesn't tell you here which animals need to be outside and which ones don't. It's like a difference between grazing animals and non-grazing animals. You just have to use your have to use your thinkings. <laughs> so the ewe and ram need to be outside. You'd think that the hens and roosters do. They actually don't. They don't graze. They, I don't know. Wherever they're at, usually like worms start appearing. So I'm guessing they're just eating worms out of the ground or something. I'm going to put them outside anyway just because they're dirty. And we don't want them inside where things are going to get, where our doors are going to eat and sleep and everything. We're going to put the rabbits outside, of course. And we, you get two random animals to uh, pull your cart. We got two female horses. It would have been nice if we got a male and female one, but there's no way to know what you're going to get. Otherwise, I would have grabbed the male one when we embarked, but you don't know what you're going to get. So, oh, well. So those are all assigned. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Our doors will start putting those pe those animals into the pin. All right. Next thing. We're going to press the U key. The U key brings up your list of workers. So here's our Fisher Dwarf. So let's click on this icon here to zoom to him. This actually might be a her. Yep, it is. So our Fisher Dwarf, who's also our leader, we're going to click Labor. We're going to click Work Annals. Like I said, there's a lot of tabs and stuff. I'm only going to explain the ones that we have to worry about right now. We're going to assign the Stray War Dog to her. And then we're going to press U again. This is our Hunter, indicated by this icon here. You can read their roles over here, but the roles will change based on what skill they practice the most. And sometimes it'll get weird. So... <laughs> It's kind of nice. You might want to like nickname them so you know who does what or just look at their icon for the role that they're assigned to from the start. But we're going to click on our hunter, labor, work animals. We're going to give them the hunting dog. 